Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this video we're going to check into the 18th of July 2022 and uh, see what uh, the day has in store for us, it has to offer through the eyes of Taro and uh, if you are interested in uh, having a personal reading with me uh, you can always go to my website which, which uh, link you're going to find in the description down below and uh, there on the very front page uh, you will see full list of my services and uh, as well their pricing so with that said uh, let's check out uh, what the day has in store and uh, the first card of the day or for the day that is uh, this is going to be uh, the lovers followed up with the second card here which stands for the knight of uh, cups and the third card, uh, we do have uh, the Ten of Swords. So this is how the elemental dignity of the day literally stands. Well, first things first, uh, the day is going to be uh, quite productive. We can see that from the Lover's card and the Ten of Wands. And that pretty much describes the uh, the harmonious relationship we're going to have with all of our chores and not just only chores, but as well in generally uh, things we gave our word about. So for example, you have promised a couple of days ago to help your neighbor and that will happen quite harmonious uh, throughout the day with the rest of your schedule and etc etc so it's kind of like it's it's it, it it's gonna feel like nothing is intercepting uh bumping with each other and nothing is con uh how can i put it into words there is no controversy in between the the acts that we are uh, that we are set or bestowed to do uh, throughout the day within our career and within our, uh, our love life if we do have any or within our social circle so you can expect that whatever you have planned for today for today yes for throughout the day whatever you uh, whatever schedule you are having this schedule is going to be pretty much maximized well, the result from that schedule are going to be pretty much maximized throughout the day thanks to that particular elemental dignity the lovers and uh, the ten of wands however as well you can expect a lot of things to move around uh, what i mean with that is there could be quite a few occasions whether it's your career at work or whether uh, when you are going out with a friend at the evening where you have to make certain choices and it's important to be acknowledged here is that there there will be no right or wrong choices to be made they all are all versions of the decision made is going to carry on its pros and cons and all comes to that what kind of responsibility you me and everybody who is watching that video can actually take toward themselves and toward the situation toward the other person as well so it's important not to stall your uh, let's say answer uh, it is just it comes to what um, what preferences uh, you do have and what you can live up with moving on uh, forward into the future and finally from that elemental dignity we can see that uh, it's a great day to resolving issues and overcoming plights uh, this is going to come though through a quite of a discipline okay so it, it, it's like uh, can i put it into words um it's like if we keep up with the demands uh <clears throat> with the demands of the of the happening or of the situation then the problems which the situation presents to us as challenges they are going to be uh, overcome uh, through our performance it's kind of like uh, sophisticated to be explained but the best way how i can uh, how i can explain it here is to tell you guys that should you do what it is needed then you will face no issues uh whatsoever if you gotta talk to a parent of yours to to resolve your issues just go just go and talk with them and your issue is going to be resolved if you gotta uh, uh you know if you gotta perform certain act at work uh just do it and your issue is going to be resolved my point is that action is needed to resolve your issues rather than hoping that they are going to resolve themselves 
on their own accord. The other elements of Dignity is a little bit more interesting, which is uh, the um, the Lovers and the Knights of Cups. Now that to me kind of like signifies a specific uh, individuals that cannot make up what to what to do with us in general. Are we a friend of theirs? Are we... Uh, do we have a business potential with them? Are we someone that can they can form a relationship with? It's just that they cannot make up of, of what is going to come in between us. Uh, usually these are people that we are just get to uh, get introduced to. That could be the, the new guy at work that you they didn't even have a chance to exchange names yet. You know, that could be a friend of a friend of yours that, you know, you accidentally bump to, like you are going at the market and you, you see a friend of yours that is hanging out with another friend of theirs that you don't know. And it's just your impression that you are going to put in front of this person that you are that is going they they are going to see you not necessarily you're going to see them though uh it's that they are not they will know that there will be some kind of a future in between the you two it's just that you are not going to be able to make up what exactly future that is going to be it's a very distant elements of dignity here in between the uh, knights of cups and the lovers card they are a active neutrals and uh, all that this uh, all that this person can uh, can know for certain it is that you are not exactly interesting you 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 play a role for them in a certain way now that may not come to bear though in the future we we very often kind of like skip these interactions due to lack of interest due to uh to different kind of development of uh, of our future but your, what your expectations could be from this individual is that if you do manage to hook them up to show them your life uh, they will kind of become more and more mesmerized moving forward uh, into the future and more and more they were going to wish to be a part of your life. So you got to tread carefully here because we don't know what kind of a person that is going to be. Okay, usually Knights of Cups, they are very forthcoming, daydreaming and uh, as well great performance in the sense of that when they want something they definitely do things to get it in a sense of that they don't uh they don't let things to develop on their own accord they're trying to to work for their meal so to speak so if that person has a romantic interest towards you rest assured they are going to flatter you flirt with you gift you things and so on and so forth should they have a business interest with you they're going to share their ideas uh try to explain what they're good at you know and, and kind of like make a um like uh, uh like a trial of of what can be with uh, uh, as a partnership in between uh in between you two what you would we're gonna do with this individual it is entirely up to you but the guidance of the cards here for throughout the day guys is that if you feel even slightest that that person is with a lack of harmony with you like there is something off about it it is best not to have anything it is best not to allow anything to develop in between uh in between you two the um the keyword of the day is harmony in if in and should there be anything that it is disharmonious to your environment it is better for you to skip it off so with that said this is the daily uh reading tarot reading that is for the 18th of july 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh we may see each other uh, around until then bye